Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your smart devices ESP8266 or Arduino with Google Home. We are going to connect this device without any third party. We are going to connect them directly to Google Home smart home application. Here in the blue box we can see the smart home application in Google that is also connected to Google Home Assistant and then we are going to implement what are on the yellow boxes. First, we need to implement a backend in Java that we are going to use a sample from Google application that I modify a little bit to include MQTT to have this interface with our smart device, ESP8266 family, and also Arduino. Then I will also show how to implement MQTT and also REST interface to talk to, to our backend in Java. In this way, we can use the Google Home Assistant and the touch control devices that are already built in in Google, in Google Home app, and we can have this system that reacts very fast to voice command and this touch control devices. So let's get started. First step is to create a new action project in Google Cloud. You need to go console actions.google.com and then create a new project. You choose your project name. And then a smart home type. And here, a name, how your project will appear in Google Home, like Electrofun Smart Devices. Save. Just copy the project name that appears here in the URL that we need to use on these actions here. Here in the fulfillment URL, we are going to provide a temporary path. The project name dot com slash smart home. After after that, we need to update with the new URL, but it will be based on your project name. Then then just copy this part here to use in the account linking. Here in the account linking, just add anything here will not be used in this project. And here in this URL, at the end, you type fake out and then the token fake token. Okay, then in test tab, just press talk to electrofun device. An error will be thrown, but don't worry. Yes, now this action will be available for you in your Google Home app. I will show you in a minute. So here is the Google Home in my mobile. I will go to settings. And then at the bottom works with Google. Then you are going to see a list of what can be connected to your Google Home. And then you you find what the project that you just create in test mode. We are going to live in test mode to the end of this project. We don't need to, to have this officially delivered in Google as we are just going to show how this works. Now, as a second step, you need to clone from GitHub the project Smart Home Java MQTT. As I said in the beginning, it was based on a sample provided by Google Smart Home Java. So here is the IntelliJ IDE and the project was already cloned. And first step is to check if the build should be successful building. So then also need to have the Google Cloud SDK installed in your computer. Instructions are also in the description of this video. 
after Google Cloud is installed, just type Google Cloud init and you need to be logged in. In my case here, I'm already logged in. If not, just follow the instructions to log in. And then you can type option one. Okay, just option one again. And then you choose your project that we just created, Smart Devices Electrofan. Now just type Google Cloud app create. Choose the location that better fits your needs. I will choose here option 13. And then to give you success. In the instructions, in case you, you don't have the cloud billing enabled in the project, you need to enable this. Please follow the instructions in the description. In this Java project, you need to change two files. First of them is smart home key. There are also instructions in the description of this video and also on GitHub how to get the smart home key that is needed for authentication. And then you should replace in this project with your own. Also in this class, my MQTT, you need to change your MQTT broker credential. Here I use this broker shiftr.io that's quite good i recommend you to use this because i'm sure that this will work but you can use the other options as well i'm also adding in the description some more information about the other broker this one is for free so after you replace this part here with your credential and the smart home key then we are good to go credentials needed to be created smart home key. so click on create credentials service yeah. Just create, then continue, then click here again on your service account key, add key, JSON form, then save this as a smart home key and add on that folder in the project, resource project. You need also to enable Home Graph API and also Cloud Build API needs to be enabled and an account needs to be created, a billing account needs to be created before. Now we are okay to deploy our application in Google Cloud. Google has provided us with this file here in Gradle, the script, to deploy our application in Google Cloud just double click on this script after enabling all the apis needed cloud billing cloud build home graph creating a billing account also creating a smart key then we have succeeded deploying the application in google cloud we can see here in the result then you have the url of your application deployed now we need to update the actions project with this correct URL. So here we need to update the URL for authorization token. In the actions, we need to update the fulfillment URL with the correct one. Then Everything is okay to test our application with Google Home. Now, there is a step that needs to be done in Firebase. You need to log in console Firebase google.com and then database and then create database. You go next and done. Then you choose the location for you. And then here you need to manually add a new collection called users. User ID using this project. And then you add a field here called token. When the value is one, two, three.
we should be good to go. Okay, now we go back to Google Home app and then on settings we go to works with Google where our service will be shown. Electrofan smart devices, then we click on it. Now we can see our URL being called and then we click in link the service to Google. Try to connect our server to Google Home. Nothing happens here because we have no devices yet. But everything goes fine here. We can check also in the logs. This I have checked before. And we can see that the backend answer correctly the intent sync. As you can see here, the devices is empty because we have not defined any device yet. So now this is the next step. We need to define devices. And how we do? We have a front-end application that will help us to add as many devices we want. So I will show you now how to install this front-end application that is also provided by Google.